Meet Maria Eleonora of Brandenburg, the Mad Queen Mother. Like King Henry VIII of England, she desperately wanted a male heir, so when she didn't get one, she lost her mind. Let's talk about it. Maria Eleonora of Brandenburg was born in 1599 to John Sigismund, Elector of Brandenburg, and Anna, Duchess of Prussia. She enjoyed a very nice childhood, and by age 17, she had grown to become a very beautiful and intelligent young lady. Word got around about her, and Gustavus Adolphus, soon to be king of Sweden, made it his quest to make her his bride. In November of 1620, despite some opposition from some of Maria Eleonora's family, the two tied the knot. Maria Eleonora was absolutely head over heels for Gustavus, but unfortunately, he had to travel a lot to take part in military campaigns. His absence resulted in Maria falling into periods of deep depression, refusing to eat and sleep. With the king so frequently risking his life in battle, it was important that they quickly produce a male heir. This wasn't all that simple though. Maria's first child was a stillborn daughter. Her second was a daughter who passed away at 11 months, and her third was a stillborn son. In 1626, Maria gave birth to a fourth child. The baby was born with a condition known as fleece lanugo, where soft downy hair covers the body of a newborn. This made it difficult to determine the sex of the baby as only the face, arms, and lower legs were visible. But Maria had her hopes up and felt in her heart that it was a son, but upon closer inspection, it was realized that the baby was indeed female. When the news was broken to King Gustavus, he wasn't upset and named the baby Christina. He ordered that her arrival be announced with all pageantry accorded to that of a male heir. Maria Eleonora, on the other hand, was absolutely livid. Upon learning the sex of the baby, she reportedly shouted, quote, Instead of a son, I am given a daughter, dark and ugly, with a great nose and black eyes. Take her from me. I will not have such a monster, quote. Soon, strange things began to happen. A beam from the ceiling fell onto Christina's cradle. Christina tumbled down a flight of stairs, and a nursemaid supposedly dropped Christina onto a stone floor, leaving her with a permanently crooked shoulder. But everyone knew that these weren't accidents and instead were because of Maria. Consequently, Gustavus prohibited Maria from having a say in their daughter's upbringing. He raised Christina as he would a son, taking her to go hunting, riding, shooting, and to military reviews. At age 37, when Christina was only six years old, Gustavus passed away in battle. This left Christina in the hands of her mother. Heartbroken, Maria refused to bury her husband's embalmed body for over a year. Angry and hysterical, Maria confined her daughter to rooms draped in funeral black, blocking out all sunlight. A golden casket containing Gustavus's heart was hung above Christina's bed. Christina became severely ill and developed a painful ulcer on her left breast. Eventually, in 1636, Maria Eleonora lost her parental rights. So, what do you think? Is the Mad Queen Mother an appropriate nickname for Maria Eleonora? <laughs>